All right, folks, happy Friday again. It's just a little better than uh, noon, noon o'clock as I like to say it. Things are going pretty well, knock on wood. The ends usually come out looking like that from uh, scraping the sidewall. You can almost say that that's burnt. I'm going to show you what I was talking about last night because while I was cutting this, it, it, it probably didn't look thin to you. Maybe it did to some of the keener eyes out there. But uh, like this, this is one of the bad spots. This spot really suffered hard from um, the melting and then refreezing and of course frozen uh, frozen water winter's hard enough on alfalfa but frozen water does this this is very meek meek area right here there's about two or three other spots um, up over in there this whole area is pretty weak and uh, there's a couple weak spots over there too so uh, the six outside rows are all done, and I've probably done one, two, three, four, five straightaways. Uh, things got off to a good start here. The morning dew dissipated uh, somewhat quickly this morning. There actually was a pretty significant dew out this morning, but I got bailing by about 10:30 uh, a.m. Uh, like I said, things are going real good. These bales might look a little small to you. Well, they are. Here's the deal, folks. I got a 4x5 bale, baler. I'm capable of baling up to a 60 inch bale. That's 54 inches. There's a reason for it. I'd like to pack as much volume in a bale as I can, but here's the deal. Folks, that bale right there, well over a half a ton, well over. In fact, I'd probably say it's about a good 1,200 pounds. Now that's a very strong baler that I have, but it is a four by five. It's not built like if you had like a four six or a five six. I've got a 120 horsepower tractor on a good day. I love that tractor, it does a good job, but it's, it's a little bit lower of a horsepower tractor. And most importantly, that is not a silage special baler. The thought of making baleage was not even in my mind when I went to purchase this, what, about two and a half years ago or better. And um, it does a good job, but you start making those really big, heavy, wet bales, and those belts are going to start slipping. Well, guess what happens when belts start slipping? You get tremendous belt wear. Uh, those belts are hugely expensive in that uh, baler, and I do not plan on replacing them anytime soon. Knock on wood again. I do not have a bale count for you thus far. I didn't keep track. I always count them up after they're done being wrapped, but uh, I'm fairly happy with the way the things are going here. It's, it's not too bad. I got a couple of funky bales over there, if you can tell, um, with the wrap. Sometimes the sides get a little bit funky. Well, that's the price that you're gonna pay for uh, making, uh, making high moisture alfalfa especially without the um oh uh, i'm gonna call them the cleaners on that because it's not a silage special that that's sometimes gonna happen it's not too bad though it's uh i'm happy with it the wrap will take care of the rest and form the bale and it'll be just fine um so yeah this is uh pretty good stuff here this is uh fully matured alfalfa good quantity good quality it'll serve a great purpose to the beef animals if we were milking cows this probably would have been cut two weeks ago or better but uh yeah like i said i i, I got ready this morning the wrappers out here i brought the wagon out with uh five gallons of fuel two more boxes of uh the film wrap, which is about 180 damn dollars, and four dry round bales to put two on each end. So, we're 
we're gonna we're gonna take a ride and we're gonna video uh, one bale. I just dumped that one. We're gonna go make another. Couldn't be happier with this New Holland baler. Folks, I'm not trying to make a commercial here, okay? I don't care about that crap. People were laughing at me when I was going to start making baleage. They were like, wow, you got that nice brand new baler. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's not a silage special. You can't make baleage. Well, I'm going to try like hell. I did. It does a phenomenal job. This baler is uh, it's good stuff. She's going to start to get loud in here, folks. All right, here we go. Yesterday, last night, I stated that I got about 84 bales last year of baleage on the first cutting. Um, and I didn't look back this morning, but I believe that I'm 100% correct. I also stated that I'm looking at about 60 to 65 bales off it this year for first crop. And uh, right now, if I had to just guess, I'm very confident here I go, I'm going to make a fool out of myself. I'm bad at counting acres and I'm bad at counting bale counts. I'm going to guess for 65, which, uh, which is good. It's fair. It's not stellar by any means, that's a fact, but it's, uh, it's pretty fair. I want you guys to take a look over here across the road. I'm going to tell you a very funny story that some people probably don't think is very funny. Okay, what that is is a golf course. That's the golf course that adjoins uh, one of them their casinos that fools like to go into and give their money to. Congratulations, you have too much money to be doing that. But whatever, teach their own. It's their business. You've seen all that commotion over there. Flags, the white tents, there's people around. That is the, uh, I'm going to call it the minor leagues of the LPGA, the Sumatra, Sumatra Tour, something like that. They put on a hell of a show, and I believe they come twice a year here. I kid you not. I believe that that's the beginning hole right there, number one, I think. I'm not, a, I, I've never been there, I'm not a golfer, I don't know. I can probably, I can probably be a good caddy, drive your golf cart and drink a hell of a lot of beer. But what's funny and not really funny is every year for the last three years, when that tournament starts, we seem to be bailing this hay right here. Folks, we're not mean. That'd be truly ignorant to do that on purpose. It's just, it, it happens every year. 
and they get they get a little peed off about it and I don't blame them if I'm if I'm down there on the east end of this field over where they're golfing they're about to tee off and lots of people are around they wait for me obviously because of the commotion and the noise um, it's it's a little embarrassing but I got to crack a smile too it's a little bit funny and I, I don't know whatever it's definitely not done on purpose maybe next year they can pay out a bunch of money to keep me out of this field then I'll definitely do it so anyway it's a little story for you funny but not funny yeah I wish I could tell you how many bales I've spit out so far I didn't keep track which uh, kind of brings me to a good point here. We're gonna have a couple few uh, bale contests this year. Remember we did that last year and um, I don't know about you, I thought that was kind of fun. Kept things interesting. All right, now I'm making a 54 inch bale. Every time this monitor hits 50, it gives me a warning beep like you just heard a minute ago. We're at 52. in the clutch stop it's wrapping right now and here goes the wow those bales are heavy we're gonna do some bale contests this year probably about two or three of them at least Keep life interesting, right? Right. I've got the pickup head on this baler down as, as low as it will go without doing any damage. And it's still missing some. That's the other price you pay for making this uh, high moisture alfalfa. It likes to stick to the ground. It's doing a good job. It's picking up most of it, but I'm, I'm seeing some lines like, like right here. That bothers me to no end, but what are you going to do? Well, I tell you what you can do. You can lower your head a little bit more if you want, but now you're going to be wearing parts out. I'd rather miss a little bit of hay than wear it out. You know what I mean? So I'm going to open up the back end one more time, let you see it go in the baler, and I'm going to shut this video off and uh, I gotta get my button gear. I got a long day ahead of me yet. So, folks, stay tuned for some more videos here uh, later on. We're going to do a couple videos of wrapping this stuff, and uh, who knows, maybe even a small video to talk about everything with a cold beer whenever I'm done tonight wrapping. So, hope everybody's doing okay. Happy Friday, and uh, we'll talk to you sooner than later.